Hi, this is Chase with Johnson County TV. Uh, we're here on location today. Let me introduce you to Susan Ford. Hi, Susan. Good morning. Yes, we're with the uh, JM Long Cultural Arts Complex. We're located directly behind HEB. And uh, just real quick, what you see behind me here is a city treasure. This is actually the bicentennial painting from JM Long Elementary School done by local uh, artist Sleepy Reed. So we're just glad to have that here. And this week, uh, featured this entire month actually, is the wood carvers and 3D uh, art show. And it is in both of our galleries. If you'll follow me in gallery two, we do have our woodworkers, uh, the wood carvers, and it's everything from the whimsical to the quite stunning in view. These are really beautiful pieces here. It's amazing how we can have, we can have the skills to do this. I mean, it was impossible. <laughs> there is such a wealth of talent uh, in Johnson County and the surrounding areas. The, the talent of our local artists is unbelievable. This particular artist here that you're looking at now is uh, Gary Birkins. It's his first time to exhibit with us and he is out of the Fort Worth area. The second half of our show is the truly whimsical end of it and this is the 3D art exhibit. It's all one show, but it just uh, naturally led itself to the two different exhibit rooms here. And then what we have here is actually from the Plaza Theater production of uh, The Little Mermaid. And it is local artists that create their set pieces. They're not purchased, they are all hand created. And this is the second time that they have brought set pieces to exhibit one of our shows. The little ones just love all the bright colors and the fact that they can come and see these things up close. Many of them actually saw the, the play itself. Um, so it's a cool addition to what we've got going on. And we have with us one of the local artists here involved in the show, and these are his uh, you describe it. Yeah, yeah talk about it. These are made out of pieces and parts of everything. This is a coil off a Ford Explorer car. These were mud vases, had little roses. Oh, in yeah. Them. Yeah. Uh, this, a fuel line filter. The wheels come off of roller blades. Uh, this come off of architect drawing board. Uh, I don't remember what I got there. It's always finding pieces and seeing. Yeah, this seeing is a hinge. Hand. This is a hinge off an old antique toilet seat. Oh, <laughs> it's just it, yeah. That is really neat. Yeah, and the little pliers. I made these little pliers out of a pair of scissors. Very detailed little pliers. Oh, well, yeah, they are. The, the fencing is was a desk organizer. That you put your pencils and things oh, in, and I took the wire out, made the gates, and oh yeah, yeah. some chains. We love our part. artists. What's your name, sir? Roger Stanley. Roger Stanley. All right, so we're still here with Susan. We're now we're upstairs of the Jane Long Complex. Well, Susan, what are we gonna find upstairs? Upstairs, you're going to find throughout the hallway, we have a free exchange library. So take a book, bring a book. If you don't have one, bring one another time. We have a children's section, which is where we're starting now. And it does run completely down the hallway. We had a lot of people who just love to come and, and trade out books and kids just, just run in the building, grab something and run out. So we promote literacy in the community as well. And then upstairs, we have, oh, the door is open, thank goodness. 
Um, we have our model train exhibit. It is under remodel, part of it is. The uh, first exhibit here was donated to us by a uh, retired Air Force Brigadier General. Wow, this is really and neat. This was his hobby. And when he was in his office and stuck working 24 hours a day, uh, couldn't leave the base, this was in his office. It gave him something to do. It's unique because it's on a tripod where it can actually be flipped up so that he could get it out of the way in the office. But we're very honored to have his family donate that for us for display here. And then uh, just donated as well several years ago. And this is the one that is completely under a remodel. Uh, this is a loose interpretation of the rail yard here in Cleburne. Uh, we have a gentleman who is currently dedicating a lot of volunteer hours to fixing this up. As you can say, he's, see he's laying new track, he's putting in landscaping, we're, we're working on uh, the train yard itself and a couple of the pieces are in here. So this is something that's just neat to come and watch the progress that's going on and eventually it will be running and something for children of all ages to come out and enjoy. And then we have our, our beautiful ships, and I love this one because this one is a model of the USS Constitution, and it was built by Curtis Snell, and it was used on the set for the TV series Crossing Jordan. It's amazing that people can put something together like that with so much tiny detail. That was some painstaking work, I'm sure. We are going to go into the Texas Wood Carving Guild Museum. Their members approached us a couple of years ago because they're aging out and the families, quite honestly, their homes are full of wood carvings. And the men and women who do the wood carving got concerned that they would not have a place for their stuff to land. Uh, when they were no longer the care caretakers of it. So after several years of looking for a place to put their stuff, we donated them this room for their museum. It is an impressive display in rows almost daily. And the wonderful thing is there's no charge for anybody in the community to come and enjoy these exhibits, to immerse yourself in the wonderful talent that comes from our community and surrounding areas. So we are open on Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Bring the kids, bring the grandparents. There's something here for everybody.